Welcome to The Trading Desk, where we say money talks and conventional wisdom walks. My name is Dave Floyd of Aspen Trading Group here in Bend, and with me always is Matt Davio of Red Rock Partners and Jesse Felder of Felder & Company. Before we get into today's show, let's take a look at what the markets did in the month of December. First chart is the S&P 500. You can see we have uh, fallen from a high of 1,576 in October of 07 down to a low of uh, the 08 months of 741, a fall of nearly 50%. We have bounced back to 919, still down over 40% from the all-time highs on the S&P 500, a long way from bull market territory. Second chart is the 10-year. The 10 years has been absolutely slaughtered. Uh, looks to me like some massive uh, intervention was going on towards the end of uh, 08. You can see those last six months really took the uh, interest rates down from four all the way down to two, which is also showing up in the uh, dollar. The dollar is continuing to get crushed at the end of 08 as we come into 09. The third chart is the banking index. Again, you see the banking index fell as much as 75 percent from 121 down to 32 is now bounced to the 45 area. Very bearish chart long term here. You can see the last two and a half, uh, really a year and a half. Uh, this is still laying out very bearish. The next chart, oil. Oil has fallen nicely from 147 a barrel down to 35 and now has bounced to the 40s. And uh, this has driven uh, pump prices back to the $1.75 area. Finally, gold. Gold is still showing uh, lack of direction here over the last uh, year and a half. And this could go either way. It could break out higher if we were to inflate, reinflate, or we could break down lower if it were to take out that 700 level. As you can see, the month of December actually posted some positive results in the stock market as well, in the, as, well as in the bond market, but uh, that's the part that I think all three of us find were a little we, troubling. Were we actually up? I, don't, I think we were S flat at best. S&Ps were up 2%. No, the, the, yeah, the S&Ps were up. How much? A point? 2.4, 2. Yeah. 2.2%. Yeah. I, thought, I, we closed, I interesting... thought we closed about 982 and uh, I opened at about 982. It, it was up maybe two points. You know. Okay. Two points. Uh, there was an interesting statistic. Points. Last year was the first time, or only the fourth time since 1900, that the market uh, didn't ever show during any day during the year a positive return year to date. So we sold off on January 1 and didn't see a positive return for the year wow. during the entire so we year. Never had a, it's only happened four times since 1900. Yeah. So it's it's very pretty uh, pretty bad. Yeah. I won't put, uh, well, we've already. Uh, we're up for this year. Yeah, we're up for that. We, up first, for the first day we were up we're to out of the gate, yeah. yeah. But the bond market is fascinating right now. I mean, interest rates are so low on treasury, you know, on treasury bills and long-term treasury bonds are in the twos, mm -hmm. two percents. Um, and you know, either we're not going to have any inflation over the next ten years, or there's some manipulation going on in that market. No. I think. I mean, no. <laughs> the Fed's in there buying. Let's, 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 face, <laughs> let's face it. One month ago, that that same treasury you were talking about was yeah. trading at about 4.2, right, all the way down to two. That is. Yeah, and then it went to two and a half today alone. Right. I mean, I've never What's seen anything that? like that. You know, we and we both picked TBT last yeah. last uh, show, which was you know shorting that that uh, bond. Uh, but my fear in that trade is that if if the uh, if we do see deflation this year, and if the Fed is in there buying bonds to push rates lower, we could see you yeah. know below one percent yeah. ten year thirty year bonds, which you know, happened in Japan, right. and uh, you know Bernanke has said he'll do that if we see deflation, he'll do whatever it takes. So and I think Geithner will do it also because he was the guy pulling the strings. Right, so. reflate at all costs. Exactly, we need reflation nation. Yeah. We need to take a break, but when we come back, we're going to continue this discussion about the uh, threat of inflation down the road. I think all three of us agree that that is a definite possibility. You're watching The Trading Desk on COTV Channel 11.